The Sony 50mm f1.4 lens is coming on the 21st of this month, February. Is this something to be excited about or just another cash grab and hype that Sony seems to be trying to create here? Who is this lens for? Why would you go for this over the f1.2 version? Well, let's get into this. First, these are the specs of this lens that are floating around. It has an 11 blade aperture. It's weather sealed. There is no in-lens stabilization and the price is going to be somewhere around that $1,850 USD. Um, should we be excited about this or more concerned about this? The F1.2 version already has an 11 bladed aperture and is weather sealed and doesn't have built-in IS. And it's on sale right now for $1,998. So what are we doing here? Going backwards? Well, here are five reasons why the F1.4 may be a better option and maybe even an improvement as they have a chance to really fix some of the issues of the 50 millimeter F1.2 and in past F1.4 GM lenses. Number one, the fact that this is an f1.4 lens means that it may be even sharper corner to corner. The 51.2 is a very sharp lens and you would be hard pressed to see a difference in corner sharpness. But that f1.4 might be enough to render a sharper looking image wide open. This will be something people doing pixel peeping will notice and not something us normal folk should really worry about. But the marketing will make you understand that you should instead get the 1.4 over the 1.2, just saying. That's what all the, the YouTube marketing will, will say to you. Number two, it's gonna be smaller. This will be a smaller and lighter lens than the f1.2. It will feel very close to the 24 and 35 millimeter f1.4 lenses. I never had a problem with the f1.2 lens as I liked its weight and size, but a lot of people didn't. And I, and I get that, it's a big lens. For most, this will be a welcome change. It will and should have the much more common 67 millimeter filter thread, which may or may not be an improvement, but it will make it nicer for someone looking locally for an adapter or filter for this lens. I have many 67 millimeter adapters and such, and only one for a 72 millimeter, just for my 51.2 lens, just saying. They have the option to make this a better lens in every way. Better controlled focus breathing is a big one. The 51.2 has heavy breathing and was almost a reason for getting rid of it, honestly, for me, as I mainly shoot video with these lenses and rely on autofocus heavily for interviews and such. It hunts quite a bit, and in manual mode, you can really see that frame you know, breathe and move in and out. I am shooting on A7S3s mainly and don't have the focus breathing compensation option. So yeah, Sony, let's get on that, honestly. It's time to put focus breathing compensation in the A7S III. Just saying. And we come to price. The price of this lens is said to be around $1,850. That is so hard for me to believe, seeing as the 24 and 35 millimeter lenses are in that 1250 to 1350 range. I cannot see this lens any more than 1450. It wouldn't make sense to me for the 1.4 and 1.2 versions to be so close in price for the small differences between the two of them. Remember everyone, f1.2 and f1.4 is not that big of a difference. You will not see a drastic difference in the lenses at this stage in quality. You're really just splitting hairs. What do you wanna see in this lens? Would you sell your 51.2 for it? What price do you think this lens should be? Let me know your thoughts down below and I look forward to that conversation. That's all I've got on this lens that may be coming this month. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to hit that thumb button, maybe subscribe if you'd like to, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.